hello everybody welcome to another edition of how come only the the channel that teaches yoruba culture and language <laughs> the, the most romantic language on earth okay how come only days on air every sunday 8 30 i mean eight o'clock all right pmc i'm on this channel all right so today um please subscribe to this channel you know just click that red button and let me hear let me see your comments i want to hear them all right so <laughs> let me see your comment let me hear your thoughts on this channel so before we proceed without much ado quickly do this okay thank you Okay, thank you very much. God bless you. Last week I began to treat Yoruba homonyms. These are words with the same spelling, um, with the same sound. They sound the same way, but they have different meaning. And last week we dealt with a couple of them. Last week we saw J to win, J to eat, J to O. Okay, we saw EB, you know, I mean, we saw EB uh, place, uh, EB placenta, we saw NA or also or NA for two. Na as T double O. Na to express um, unbelief. I cited the example of when uh, Brutus uh, stabbed Julius Caesar. I'm a student of literature, and Julius Caesar was like, You, even you. So, na, it's um, use unbelief or emphasis. And um, yeah so we we did all those one and now can be for this or that if you, if you have to make choice in, in between two things this or that okay it's all right it's good so today we are going to proceed on this journey and uh, i'm going to walk you through some other um homonyms that we have and i promise you as i come across them hmm, as I come across them, I'll be, you know, updating you, you know, as much as um, as I can. All right. So today, the one we're going to start with is this. Pa. Pa. It is the verb used for hunger. Hunger in itself is a B. Hmm? But when you are experiencing that, <laughs> when you are experiencing hunger, you say a hmm? pani. So it's a verb used to you know to to express to say that okay I'm hungry. So the example I have here, ebi pa to me me ano. Told me was hungry yesterday. You see that? A big pa told me me and no told me was hungry yesterday. All right. Pa again can can mean victory, victory over a game. Mm -hmm. So um, I have an example here that says, "Bumi pa mi ni ayoludo." Bumi pami ni ayoludo. That means Bumi won me on the Ludo game. She won. He won. Bumi is a is a unisex name. It can be that can be, you know. That means you can give it to a girl child or a boy child. I did um, something on names before. Check out the video. You will see it. So that means victory or 
Um, again, we have pa to kill or to murder. Mm? I have an example here that says, I want to lose your pa or gaile shena. I want to lose your pa or gaile shena. The thieves kill the company's CEO. The thieves killed the company's CEO. I want to lose your pa or gaile shena. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we are looking at words with the same spelling, the same sound, but different names. So we have seen pa in the context of hunger. We have seen pa in the context of victory. When somebody win a victory over a game or something, it's okay. And then we are now seeing pa in the context of murder or, you know, killing someone another one pa to hatch hatch so i have an example here you know um conventionally chicken brood on their eggs <laughs> and they hatch them okay so uh, my chicken hatched all its eggs in my culture, we don't use she for animals. Animal is animal any day, any time. So we use it for them. Uh, some other people will say, ah, no. Human being, ah. Human being, I don't know how to do this civilization. I don't know how to do this. My chicken hatched all its eggs. Mm? All right. You get that gist okay the next one now we're looking at is pa again to rob pa to rob mo fi ori pa ese mi mo fi ori pa owo mi i rub my feet with shea butter pa to rob when you rub your cream o para para you rub me your body para mm -hmm. so we have seen by this different um context okay now another one is pa to tell lies eh? or fable to tell lies or fable so tope i have an example tope pyro fun babare tope pyro Barry <laughs> top a lie to his father, top a lie to his father, top a to is a unisex name. It can be a boy, it can be answered by boy or girl. All right, so the uh, the next one, Iya Baba, a lofuwa, Iya Aba. Grandma told us a folk tale, all right? So grandmas don't lie. They can only tell you folk tales, all right? So, yeah, grandma told us a folk tale, all right? So another word I'm looking at today is ED. ED. ED can mean reason, cause, and uh, the point, the main point, the reason we have to do something with them. So, example here, ED nene ti mofiwa. If someone asks me now, okay, why are you on this channel? ED ti mofiwa. The reason, ED ti mofiwa. See only a channel that is calling me Yoruba. I'm here. The reason why I'm here is to teach you Yoruba. So, it <coughs> the reason, cause, main points. All right. It didn't That's the reason why. Okay. That's the reason why I'm here to teach you Yoruba. Get that? Yes. So, before we, you know, before we continue the Yoruba 
uh, gist can you quickly do this all right thank you and welcome back god bless you another ed <laughs> bottom of something yes bottom of something i will get to the bottom of this matter yes bottom of something so you can say mama binyonju lati ri ide oro na mama binyonju lati ri ide oro na you are investigating something i will get to the bottom of it ed i will try to get to the bottom of the matter mama binyonju i will try lati ri ide oro na so another ID, a place it can be a place you know especially um when you're talking about plant you know diggy particular tree ID. so i may say mo wa ni di igi mango leyin ile mo wa because i have I have an option to be on top of the mango tree hmm? but i'm not on top of it <laughs> so i can say mo wa ni digi mango leyin ile i'm at the bottom of the mango tree behind the house i'm not on top of the mango tree i'm at the bottom of it the place okay hmm? another ID buttocks buttocks or bonbon bon. hmm? buttocks <laughs> bon, bon. <laughs> i'm just laughing because of what i wanted to say now idiobirina to be idiobirina to be you know i'm laughing this is this is the yoruba thing we have you want me to stand up and show you <laughs> Some of it so we have god god has blessed us with this thing okay so you see a typical yoruba woman you know i mean you want to check it out so the buttocks of the woman is big <laughs> the buttock of the woman is big it's it's um, honestly honestly it's a part is um is a blessing god as you know endowed us with we have we have it is our asset you know it's our asset and we are proud of it so today i've told you pa. Hmm? you remember pa, i said pa. you can have pa as the verb for hunger and um, pa can be victory over a game pa can be to kill or murder pa can be to hatch pa can be to to lie pa can be to tell folk tale no grammar's true id talk about id reason um id bottom of something bottom of a matter id a place bottom of a tree mango tree you know the bottom of it and the big one ed talks all right <laughs> okay until i see you again in fact as i come across this um words i promise i'll be you know updating us because we have a whole bunch of it all right and if you are is iruba speaking um gentlemen or gentle lady out there let me know some of the homonyms you know in the comment section all right please subscribe to this channel share with your loved ones um yeah before i leave let me leave you with um um bridesmaids my bridesmaid.org is a babysitting platform here in the u.s all over the um 
50 states, including DC. Their background checks have been done. Parents register on this platform. You will connect with sitters and cleaners. Cleaners and babysitters, you're looking for jobs in this direction. <clears throat> this is where to be. So the background checks of this um, people on this uh, platform has been checked has been done so you don't have to worry about the safety of your children until i come your way again next week with another interesting um topic connect with me if you want one-on-one -on -one teaching send me an email we can arrange some things on on the zoom you know so it's a global village so anywhere you are you can learn see you again next week i love you and be safe bye